The most listened to blues station on iTunes Radio. This is AardmarkBluesFM.com. So good morning, sitting here in my hospital room, talked to doctors this morning, a doctor, and I guess they're thinking about sending me home if my numbers are right, they, like I say, they test, they test the blood and if it's, numbers are the same two times in a row then uh, they can make a decision and it sounds like what their goal is now is to get me to inject this blood thinner I'll take a pill and then I guess for a couple of days or so I'll be injecting this blood thinner into my stomach kind of like people do with insulin so it's Sunday January 5th and it's 7.34 a.m. in St. Petersburg, Florida, sitting in the Northside General Hospital. So, I'll see how all of that goes, and I'll get back with you on that. But uh, right now, you know, um, I've still got the blood clot. They haven't said too much about the blood clot. You know, uh, a lot of times they were saying that... Uh, you know, you got we got to be real careful with this because it can kill you. And I asked about uh, if I go home, you know, I'm still having trouble breathing. And he said, basically, the breathing at this point is because you're out of shape. But I've got that problem with the left leg where I can only walk 324 feet before the left leg starts to give out. So... As far as getting in shape, it's going to have to happen in uh, 324 feet. So, um, we'll see how it goes. I've got a little, seems like I've got a little uh, electric strip here that I can plug into to keep myself charged up. But um, there's really not too much to say right now until they come in and start talking to me. I guess they're probably getting ready to serve breakfast, which is usually some eggs and muffins and cereal and orange juice and milk. 
Sometimes they'll throw out some uh, uh, French toast. But basically, you know, hospital food is bland. You know, they don't give you salt and all the stuff that'll mess you up. All the stuff we like, it happens to be the stuff that kills us. So, there really isn't too much to say until more doctors come in or the nurse starts showing me how to inject this stuff. I guess the nurse is going to do it and I <laughs> kind of just squeeze my stomach, put that thing in there and then you push a button and it automatically kind of shoots out. Kind of like when you're taking your uh, blood sugar and then you just inject it, inject it into your fat and it goes into your bloodstream somehow. So, um, I think this will do for now. We'll see how, uh, what they've got to say. I'm sitting up in a chair. I asked one of the nurse's aides to find out if I can walk around now or if they're worried about this blood clot or not. So, the way I understand it, if this blood clot breaks loose, it can kill you instantly, so... I don't know exactly what what the whole deal is. You know, one minute it's a it's a serious problem, and next minute it's a lack of exercise. So, like I said, one of the problems with going home is uh, getting there and not being able to breathe, and just have to come back and go through this all over again. I guess I don't know. I don't mind going home. I'd rather be home. But when I'm home, I'd like to be able to breathe. Still, the only thing that I'm able to eat is fish. Anything heavy doesn't appeal to me at all, and I can't eat very much of it. So, um, this will do for this report for now. I'm just going to kind of surf a little bit. I don't feel too much like typing. Uh, I can zoom in to where I can read, sit back and read. Um, so, I'm going to archive this little information here and pick it up later on today. Uh, Nina should be here uh, around 9 or 10 o'clock or so. And uh, we'll see how it goes when she gets here and we'll see what they got to say. But sending me home in the same shape that I came other than now my blood is thinner don't make a whole lot of sense. But you know, it's my first heart operation and it's not theirs, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll check with you later.